This is 219 News Now, brought to you by Strachan Van Til, making lives easier for 94 years. I'm Andrew Garcia, and this is your 219 News Now. The original Hammond YMCA temporarily shut down to undergo renovations and is being reimagined to focus more on kids. It will now focus on childcare and summer camps now that the new YMCA is serving as a gym, pool, and community center. We do anticipate having camp there sometime this summer as renovations continue, said CEO Jay Buckmaster. We envision childcare, camp, and some advanced programming, maybe some older kids programming. We envision maybe some basketball and outdoor sports being there as well. Police in Cherville responding to a report of a shooting early Saturday in the 2600 block of Morningside Drive found a male shot in the stomach and leg. Officers were called out around 3.48 a.m. to the residence and the shooting victim was taken to a local hospital and then transferred on to Chicago for treatment of his wounds. Anyone with information about the incident is encouraged to contact Cherville Police Department's Criminal Investigation Division at 219-322-5000. Callers may also remain anonymous by calling 219-865-4646. South Lake Mall will have new and temporary holiday stores and kiosks this holiday season. On the lower level, Hickory Farms, Go Calendar, 3D Luxury Crystals, Picturesque, Infinity Lights, Polar X Ornaments, and Bethlehem Gifts have opened. On the upper level, Season of Giving, Indiana Whiskey, and Native Sun are among those stores that have opened up. There's a lot of new ones as well as some returning, South Lake Mall Marketing and Business Development Manager Kristen Folletti said. It adds a variety of options for shoppers. And in sports, IU took down Purdue 66-0 in the Old Oaken Bucket game on Saturday night in Bloomington. The win gave the Hoosiers their largest margin of victory in the series. And while Indiana is happy to win over their in-state rivals, the Hoosiers will now focus their attention to preparing for a possible berth in the college football playoff, as the voice of IU football, Don Fisher, says. If you've watched this football team play this year, that's what they've done the entire season. So this was just what you would expect uh, from a football team that is dominating the other team. And Kurt Signetti, I don't think, I, I think Kurt Signetti in his own mind is first play to the last play. You play as hard as you can. It doesn't matter who's in there. It doesn't matter what the situation is. First place to last place, the last play, first place, first play to last play. Uh, you play as hard as you can, and you play uh, smart, poised, relentless, uh, fearless, physical, all those kinds of things. He puts all those terms out there, and you've got to do that, and that's, that's his philosophy. So we've watched him do it against every team that they've played this year. Obviously, Ohio State beat them. They didn't play their best football game, and the second half of the Michigan game wasn't all that uh, what it was cooked up to be either. But... I don't think this team has ever stopped playing hard, and they certainly weren't going to do it against their arch rival on Saturday. To read up on more local news and headlines, visit JedTV.com and NWI.com. I'm Andrew Garcia, and this has been your 219 News Now.